was like the best team I've been on. That's why we come here yeah, to win football matches. So you and your teammates just kind of get together and you create this bond that nothing can really beat. The most important thing is, the, to me at least, is the friendships that you make. Everyone from the staff, the coaches, to the team members uh, about the Menace, it's, it's amazing. The Menace is kind of uh, renowned throughout the football industry out here. Um, it's one of the best clubs in the USL too. Um, so I've heard a lot about the organisation, the professionalism of the club. The Menace have a great history of, um, of, of attracting top talent because we have a history of placing that top talent in either the MLS, overseas, USL Championship, USL League One. Because we're able to draw that top talent, we're able to create that environment to enable their passion, and we do that with top tier coaching, um, we often get a chance to win. The coaches, they've gone in and out, but I think the standard has always stayed the same, and the level is very high. I was frame pro, and uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to find a contract for this year, but um, my agent reached out to The Menace, and The Menace is a team that has a lot of contacts, has shown that their players, um, the players who have played here, have gone to pro. Uh, I hope it gets my foot in the door to play pro somewhere, and just gets me an opportunity, a chance to you know, further my career in soccer. A lot of personalities in the group, uh, obviously all trying to win. Um, prior to the match, it's a little bit relaxed. Once we once we get to the stadium, sorry, it's, uh, that's when the gaffer kind of cranks it up a little bit. We crank it up as well uh, with the leaders in the group and then the music playing. And then once the game starts, it's just a hundred miles an hour. I just try to win. So. Yeah, what's it like playing in Des Moines? Well, we have the Red Army and they make a lot of noise. And we also have a strong fan base. And when that fan base comes to alive and it's the right night, you're, it's gonna be hard to replicate that kind of environment, even in the pro ranks. Um, we also try and create an environment for our fans that when the team's not on the pitch, there's something going on that's entertaining and exciting. And if you see our, some of our stuff we put out, it's, uh, we have a lot of fun and why wouldn't you have fun? It's the entertainment business. A lot of local performers um, mixed in with a lot of stuff that we've come up with here in-house, whether it be um, video stuff, interacting with the players and the fans on the field, um, some fun things like a Jethro's wing eating competition that goes on almost every game, and then things like Chuck for a Buck, allowing fans to win prizes and be really a part of the game in that, in that time, um, those 15 minutes that we have, you know, get as many people down on the field as we can and involved with the game. The Menace are a victim of our own success in that we often have to rebuild a roster every year and we have to sometimes hire coaches every year and that's because many of our coaches uh, are top level coaches and they once they come here and they have another winning season of sort they're often pulled back into the professional ranks and they love that because of the, the length of the season. In a similar vein, our players that come in, example, team in 2017, many of them get drafted, many of them go on to the pro ranks. Team in 2018, we only brought back a few players um, because the majority of them signed professional contracts. What's going on guys? It's Brandon Fricky here with Lansing Ignite FC of USL League One. My name is John Pascarella and I am currently with Minnesota United as an assistant coach. Ironically, Des Moines uh, helped me with both of my first professional starts. Uh, they got me to Charlotte with my relationship with Mike Jeffries, and then this year um, playing in the playoffs against Nate Miller helped bring me here to Lansing where I reunited with Coach Miller. Originally was with Sporting Kansas City and MLS, then wanted to get some head coaching experience, so the opportunity arose with Des Moines. Um, and as I said, absolutely loved it. It was a great growing experience for me and then led me to, uh, to working with Adrian Heath and the staff here. Uh, I only had positive experiences playing with The Menace. Uh, it's a great professional organization that, that treats the players right. Um, they're there to push players on and the community really gets behind you. So overall, it's a great experience for a summer playing in Des Moines. Well, the thing about Des Moines that's, that's different than most organizations at that level is that it's, it's run in a very professional way. So with the housing that they have there, with the food stipend that they have, with the quality of the facilities, the coaching staff that they bring in every year, it's, it's top rate uh, soccer. Yeah, interesting, a lot of players um, I find are a little nervous to travel to Des Moines 
away from their current teams or the first time in the Midwest or away from their families or whatever it might be. Uh, but what we find is we put them in these apartments and they train at a high level with their fellow teammates and it doesn't take long before we create a, a friendship and a network for them for their life. The perception I had of Des Moines before I came here was like just uh, <laughs> farms and crops and stuff so uh, I was surprised with how just beautiful really it is. Uh, I really liked Des Moines actually, I was uh, pleasantly surprised. Um, I thought I was kind of mostly cornfields and stuff and very flat, uh, but it's a big built up city. The people that we've met are also friendly, also nice. Um, and we also live just outside of the city, which is a really nice area. Um, there's everything we need, um, there's places to eat, there's uh, activities to do and stuff. Um, so there's a lot kind of in such a small, small place um, that it really helps with kind of the living arrangements. Well, Iowa's kind of home to me now and I've been here for 17 years so um, it's just the people, very nice and you can probably our front office if you go and meet some of those guys, the nicest people you ever meet. And then the area is big enough where there's enough to do, but it's also small, so you don't have to worry about some of the stuff that you'd have to worry about in the bigger cities. Des Moines is well recognized as a city with great um, sports, and the USL is very stable. And so it makes a lot of sense with our history with the USL uh, for them to engage us to make that jump into the pro ranks based on our, our storied past success on the pitch and off the pitch and our passionate owner who's, who's been very good in his business life. It makes all the sense in the world for Des Moines to take on uh, and, and seek out that expansion to be the next franchise in the USL Championship. I think people should, you know, try and be part of the menace because it's one of the most professionally run amateur clubs. Um, year in, year out, they push guys on to the professional ranks and they try and do it right and help guys develop and be the best pros they can be. It's all around just professional and if you're looking to go to the next level, which everyone in our locker room is trying to do, I think this is the best place for a player like that. Uh, I would say this is it. This is it. Uh, just based on history, this is the place that they should come to because Every year, they're top of the league. Every year, they're top of the nation. Every year, players who aspire to be pro, go pro, that have played here. Um, the coaching staffs have been great every year. Uh, the players have been great every year. Uh, once again, the friendships that you make, uh, if you're a college player and you want to spend the summer here, you will make a lot of friendships that will last a lifetime and um, you will win championships, you know? That's, the, that's what you come here. You come here to win championships, make friendships, and, uh, and stay fit. And uh, Des Moines can help you do all those things.